Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for today's video, I'll be showing everybody how do we actually take some of these live stream and preserve them so that you can send it for disease testing or disease screening in case you are wondering how should you test for diseases. So stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. So for those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we produce weekly content on technologies with regards to mud crab farming and shrimp farming. So if you would like to get a notification on our weekly video, do remember to like and subscribe. So for those who are familiar with our channel, you probably have realized we are actually in an earthen pond. And due to the huge temperature fluctuations uh, we have, were having in June, some of our shrimps were actually having some issues, especially with production and mortality. So we actually have an adjacent pond uh, in which we are actually harvesting today. So we just harvested some for some of our clients that demanded live shrimps to our holding tank facilities. And we will be taking some of the shrimps for preservation and also for further disease testing. So as you can see here, once we harvest them, them live, they still looks okay because the temperature water is actually being chilled and the shrimp is actually being sent over a duration of about two and two and a half hours before reaching our, our facilities. So this is how the shrimp looks like once we started to put them back in the normal salinity and start to put them in a holding system powered with the rust systems. So you can see that they're pretty active uh, and in terms of survival, they're doing quite well as well. But of course, there are some shrimps that are actually a bit weaker and started to die. So we actually wanted to collect some of these shrimps um, so that we can send it for disease testing. Uh, so that's really important step to ensure. You know, some of these shrimps might look very healthy, but they still might be carrier for some diseases, just that they are not affected. So it's really important for us to understand at this halfway point or 75% point how the shrimps are doing and whether we should continue to culture it. So one interesting thing, among the shrimp we actually found another type of shrimps that we did not put in the pond. So this is actually known as a spear shrimp. So the one on the top is actually vaname, but the one at the bottom is commonly known as what we call the spear shrimp that sometimes results in low survival. But for this batch, uh, we don't really see a lot of them. So that's good news um, because in the past we have actually cause a lot of problems for these spear shrimps resulting in lower survival. So as you can see, once we started to put the shrimp in the holding tank, the water starts to be a bit cloudy uh, due to some of the mortality and some of the shrimps are pooping over the long journey. So what we want to do is to first take out alcohol of 70%. Uh, so this is actually quite common. We can get them off the shelf, either through our typical shopping website like Shopee or even the pharmacy. So what the first step is to sort of to separate out the shrimps. I'll be separating, separating them into two samples, right? First will be the one on the left, which are still the live shrimp. And I'll also pick out the shrimps that are a bit weaker and separate them out to the right. So this actually gives me two samples, right? The first sample will be all of the shrimps that are live over here. And the sample on the right will be those that are not so healthy or weaker in general. So you can see that the shrimps that are generally looks okay. You can't detect any uh, lesions on them. So it's probably wise at this point to send it for a proper testing. So what we do is to use some of this uh, ethanol, fill it in the water, and we're going to put it inside the what we call water bottle that you see over here. You can use any water bottle. It's fine as long as your courier services are okay. So I'll put in the weaker shrimps over here. And on this bottle that has already some ethanol inside, I will continue to put in some of the live shrimps directly in. Alright, so this is a very useful tool because you might be sending this off to some lab that takes you two to three days to get to. And this is a good way to start to preserve them and they will actually take out this shrimp and do perform PCR testing onto it. So many of these labs uh, will require you to preserve them in this manner, either to use ethanol or to freeze them. I prefer the ethanol method because it's actually very simple. And, you know, after you preserve them, you know, Make sure that it's off up all the way covering all the shrimps. Uh, we'll fill up a bit more over here on the bottle on the right. And uh, what's important also is to have the proper labeling and to make sure that the, the 
the parser it needs to be fully closed because uh, based on our experience a lot of these samples do do get you know open or accidentally open if they are not sealed very well and uh, usually the courier service will have to uh, deal with all these shrimps that are accidentally spilled around their services so not great for them and not great for you because you probably lose a sample and have to do this all over again so after you fill them with ethanol that should be the end of the preservation step and you can contact over your DZ screening provider to see what tests you'll be doing too. So typically we like to use 5 shrimps per test so that's a quite a good average and usually based on our experience it gives you a bit more samples to test for additional if any of those goes negative. So do remember to label your bottles properly. We've got many many instances where we actually mix up the bottle and for us we actually have this really nice form that we use and just stick it on top on the bottle so that it doesn't get misplaced in terms of uh, the companies that many of them are also sending their samples to. So that's all for this video. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed and learned something about how to preserve shrimp and send them to your disease screening. So for those who are new, we hope you like and subscribe so that you can see you back again in Rasa Culture. Thank mm -hmm. you.